Hey guys, it's Chris. It is 11.44 p.m. here in Connecticut. Um, and I am doing kind of a double review today. Like I'm doing a cold sniff review um, from a brand new vendor who was nice enough to send me some items. Um, I kind of just told her like what I liked and she picked them out for me. And I think she did an amazing job. Um, and I have some of a scent going on right now in my, um, my 24 watt hot plate warmer. So, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fix my hat here. It's looking a little ridiculous. Anyway, um, so the name of the company is, should I open this up? I've been wanting to try this company forever, you guys, forever, since I first saw the page. Like, oh my god. Um, and I was going to mix it up and kind of move my computer, you know, to a different area, but I don't get good light over there, so I didn't. Um, but her website is Two Timing Tart. You can see it right there. TwoTimingTart.com home fragrance for the truly daring it says and look at that card like hello that card reminds me of my tattoo how cool is that card tattoo super cool so um anyway i was going back and forth with this vendor and we were talking and we've talked a lot actually and she's super nice super sweet her name is Becky Anderson I got her package today and she wrote me a little note and it says Christine this is your own personal sampler based on your likes and two of my most loved scents I hope you'll love everything Becky and she put a little cute little foil heart on it so cute um so thank you Becky for the little note I love getting little notes I keep them all I really do I write the vendor I write the vendors um you know so I put her name on it and I'll put two tiny tarts or or I keep her card in there um and I keep it with their stash so um in my barrel of tricks that I have my cabinets and cabinets and I went out guys today and bought another seven drawer cabinet so it's getting bad because <laughs> I have some new vendors coming um so anyway so Becky from Two Timing Tarts sent me these wonderful clamshells now one thing I'm going to say is I'm I'm glad I have this in my 24 watt right now because I really want to see how it throws because I normally do not do clamshells and that's she sells candles and she sells clamshells so I normally don't do clamshells the reason I don't is because my bowls like I've said before many times are super big um and I kind of have to do three to get a good scent you know to get a good wax bowl and a good scent throw um but there are some vendors that I've put in that have been like amazingly like strong. So I'm hoping she's one of those vendors. I'm ordering again from her anyway, just because this site blows me away. This site is right at my alley. It's like no other site you've ever been on. Oh, I thought somebody was messaging me. Anyway, it's just so super cool. So I'm going to post all her information below on how you can get your own two timing tart. I want to keep on saying it's tart, but two timing tart. Like, get it? Like, you're a tart. That's what my grandmother used to say. Like, you know? Oh, she's such a tart. You know? Or she's a floozy. You was either a floozy or a tart. I don't know. It's funny. Anyway, so her stuff is so cool. It kind of has her um, website, kind of has this like burlesque 20s flapperish kind of. Um, theme as you can see here as you can see here on the come on on her logo it's so cute look at that isn't that adorable so this was made she puts the poor dates on everything this was made 5 13 so it was good enough for me to pop in my warmer which I was so excited about 
Um, 100% soy wax. Um, steric acid fragrance. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, but we were talking and she really likes to try to keep everything like uh, eco-friendly and stuff like that. So um, her labels are, you know, very simple, quite simple. Um, her wax, you'll notice, is not colored. Some of them, one of them I believe I, ha I had, had like a very faint, 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 faint. But that's probably just from um, the fragrance oil. But she doesn't um, color any of her wax. Um, which is fine by me. I mean, I, I don't know. There was a post before about on one of the candle pages. Not mine, I don't think. Not Candles Anonymous. I don't think it was. But um, stating like, do you like color or do you care? You know, kind of thing. Everyone knows I'm anti-glitter. But um, color, I don't know. Like, it's okay, I guess. She just doesn't like adding, having any additives in her stuff. So, you know, she doesn't want to like to have, add color. So, hey, that's cool. Whatever. As long as it smells good, right? That's the whole point. Um, so, again, the site is Two Timing Tart. And she sent me six of these lovely clamshells. Um, I wish they were bigger. <laughs> There's one site that had jumbo tarts. Jumbo clamshells, and each clamshell was one ounce. Oh, I, I can't remember the site. I wouldn't say it on here anyway, but it was super cool. Um, and I don't know. I have not heard the name. I found it somehow, and I have not heard the name around. But anyway, they do have jumbo tarts. Like So each one of these is one ounce. That's super cool. I like that. Because um, then I put two of these in a melter, and I'd have no issues whatsoever. But anyway, um... And we have talked, Becky and I, we've talked about all of my idi idiosyncrasies, and she's told me a little bit about hers, so she will get this video <laughs> when she sees it, when I kind of go off on these, like, tangents or whatever, you know, she, she, she'll get me. Um, but I'm just going to start off by, um, instead of just getting right into the scent, I just want to tell you what makes this scent, what makes this scent, what makes this site different. This is like, like I said, nothing like you're going to see before. She has categories and her scent descriptions. I have to read them all to you and I put them in my database and normally if they're really long, I'll shorten them. So I'll just have like, um, whatever fragrant notes are in there. Like, so someone says, oh, this is such an awesome scent or it's so, you know, fun and fruity. But I'll like delete all that stuff, um, to save room in my databases. But, um, these, I just have to post them all just because full length, whatever, you know, however long they are because the, the scent descriptions are just so awesome. But she has on here categories, under categories. She has burlesque. And then she has like all her burlesque fragrance, um, you know, fragrances. And like I said, she does a candle. Everything on the site right now, it looks like it's 25% off, guys. Some stuff, one of my favorites was also, um, was even more than 25% off. It was like 28% or something. I don't know, but it was really cool. So I put, I put it as a fave in my, um, database and I'm going to have to order more of that. But she has, her candles right now are 25% off. They're $7.50. They are, for anybody who burns, I don't burn, but um, this is what it says. All of her candles are made with the same ingredients as our tarts. They feature a cotton wick, no artificial dyes, and are contained in an 8-ounce aluminum tin with lid, which I really love those because I, I recycle everything. So... If I get something like that, I mean, even like candle, I don't know, some reviews I do, some people have sent me candles, that which I don't normally, I, I'll scoop them. I don't normally burn them. I'll scoop them. Um, and then I'll reuse the jar. Um, so any of my, you know, um, old wax that I've melted, I pour off and make another like emergency candle with. So um, that's what I do. So these little tins are like really, really cute. Um, but it's eight ounces for seven fifty, um, which again is below my dollar, you know, an ounce price that I like to pay. So that's awesome. 
Um, candles are poured on a pour on a per order basis and will delay shipping by one day. So the candles, yeah, by one day. I mean, her turnaround time was amazing. So I don't no, I don't have an invoice because this was just a special little thingy thingy. So um I don't have what her actual I'm just gonna look in here though. Uh, turnaround time is four to five business days um, because she does have a full-time job. Okay, so this is it. This, I just have to read you some of this too because this, otherwise this would be a super, super short um, video and you guys know I just don't do super, super short. So that would just not be a Chris video if I did super, super short. So I'm going to give you as much information as I can, which I like to do. Um... So it says, welcome to Two Timing Tart. We are proud to offer unique handmade fragrances for your home. We use 100% soy wax, sustainable palm steric acid, and fragrances that are always felfate free. So that all sounds good to me. I really don't quite know what that means, <laughs> but it all sounds good. Um, our packaging is recyclable and we now offer a recycling program. For more information, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the Recycle With Us link under Important Links. We are committed to reducing waste, reusing whenever possible, and recycling what we can. So I will definitely be hitting that link. That's really cool. Um, they do ship internationally. However, due to our cart software, all orders outside the U.S. will need to be processed through PayPal. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Um, just contact our customer service email address to get started placing your order. Yada, yada, yada. That's for international. Um, but the current turnaround, turnaround time, I always like flub that. Like my tongue just can't handle that. Our current turnaround time is four to five business days. And she says due to the queen of tarts going back to the old day job. She's so funny. Um, and then it said, as of May 23rd, we are using a new 100% soy wax that holds more fragrance oil, stays harder, does not melt in transit easily, and we'd like to thank everyone for their patience during the two weeks of transition, but I think that's over. Yes, that's over. Anyway, what's really cool is that I did notice her tarts are not super duper duper soft. Like, a lot of 100% soy is really almost like buttery soft like it and it's just not it's not my kind of favorite I you've seen me got you've seen me guys do this with the wax and go oh that's a great consistency or oh that's really that's too hard or that's too soft whatever you guys have seen me do that so this wax is just really great um so she has new products for June which is like leave new scents. Um, so she has the eight ounce tin candles in the tins. Um, and then she has the clamshells. So, but just, okay, I'm going to get into some of her categories. Burlesque. She has 43 items in burlesque. Um, she has dark room. She, oh, let me start with burlesque. Um, burlesque, you're going to find, um, what you call it, fragrances such as Abbey Normal, these are the names, Captain Tight Pants, Dirty Girl, Drunk Pornography, Drunk Status Updates, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to be laughing through this whole video, it's just funny, Drunk Texting, um, Drunk Tweeting, Everything Shiny Captain, um, freak flag in insanity insanity but it's spelt T E A Madman with a box um, pretty boys in eyeliner I, I mean these things sex kitten these things just crack me up these names just crack me up I love it so that's in her burlesque line. Um, then we can go to charitable, charitable causes because I love this stuff. I love this. Like, I'm ordering these. These are a little, they're still 25% off. They're a little pricier, I believe. 
than the other ones, but um, she has one called um, One Night Only Candle, and she doesn't do, I don't think she does the charitable causes and tarts, so maybe I'll have to get some and scoop them, but anyway, um, it's so cool, so One Night Only Candle, um, yeah, it's again, it's, it's eight ounces, and it's given to charity, well, I'll just read it. It says, One night only, my love of live theater has always stemmed from the written word. A play can be a thing of great beauty, even if it's a tragedy. But we live in an age where live theater is struggling against movies and television, which is so true. Um, and I hope to God that the art form isn't dying. So truly, which is more important, the written word or the actor performing the written word? This scent is a sweet lotus in berry... She uses a lot of words here that I have no idea, so I'm just going to skip it um, <laughs> so I don't sound like an idiot. Touched with warm, clean, white musk and a hint of awe and delight. $10 from the sale of each candle will be donated to Theater of Note, a small live theater in Los Angeles, which is attempting to keep live theater afloat by performing innovative new plays and driving students to create their own works, which... If anybody knows, like, the arts are just dying in the school systems. I mean, it's so sad. Um, so, like, I'm all for this. This is so cool. I'm going to buy all of these charity candles just because I have to. So $10 from the candle. The candle's normally $15. It's on sale for 25% off. So she's making this candle and $10 of it. It's now $11.25. $10 of that is going to Theater of Note. That's amazing. That's just absolutely amazing. Um... The next one is called Pucker Up Candle. And again, it's normally $15. She has it. Everything, everything on her site right now, I believe, is 25% off. Um, so this Pucker Up Candle is, um, this is... This is a really great cause, too. This is such a good cause. Um, it says, Pucker Up. For your pleasure, we've created an adult, sweetly, pucker-worthy lemonade candle to benefit Alex Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer. Now, I know a lot of you have probably um, heard of Alex's Lemonade Stand. Um, hold on. I'm going to just move my camera down a bit because I just feel like... No? Should I move it up? No. I guess either way, I'm, not I'm never looking into the camera. Sorry, guys. I mean, it just looks like I'm looking down. I'm looking at my screen, but... But see, when I look up, I look like a freak. Like, I'm looking at you guys like, ooh, stalker. <laughs> so I'm sorry. But anyway, um, I'm sorry I'm not looking directly at the camera. You know what? I need to be taller. That's my issue. I need to get some pillows. And I need to get, be taller. Maybe I'll do that next, next video. But anyway. So Alex Lemonade Stand Foundation is um, a little girl, I believe. I think it was a little girl. Her name was Alex. She died from cancer. And her mother started, in fact, when I was doing my Relay for Life and all that stuff, um, I got in contact with her and I got some really great information. Um, I believe next year I'm going to be doing, um, I'm not doing Relay for Life uh, again. I'm going to be doing some sort of maybe hospice um, fundraising, something like that. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep my fundraising because I'm just really big into that and I'm big into reusing, recycling, repurposing. So just like Becky, uh, you know, I love it. Um, I mean, it's necessary. It has to happen, uh, to save our environment for our children. Um, I never thought the day would come where, you know, my children's welfare could be in jeopardy, but whew, it's sad. I mean, and if not my children, my grandchild, like, it's really sad. I, uh, anyway, um, I won't go on a rant about that, but, um, so, again, $10 goes straight to the Alex Lemonade stand. Um, your donation can be made in any name you choose, so feel free when you order it, if you want to donate it in honor of somebody, which I will do, even though it's not a child, I'll do it in honor of my cousin, um, which I have right here. I don't know if anybody has seen this. Somebody was asking my, my about my tattoos and my, um, what you call it? I just had blood drawn too, guys, so don't mind the, it was like I have vampire bites right there. Um, this is my tribute, my memorial tattoo for my cousin, Carrie, which the Candles Anonymous girls just blew me away with their donations for Relay for Life this year. It was just amazing. We had an auction. So I have her birth date and her, um, passing date and her name. And it's a Celtic cross. This was actually the cross that was on her 
um, casket. There were four of them, and I received one. And then the ribbon is her cancer colors, which were green and blue. It was liver and colon. So anyway, so I will be putting her name in memory of um, under there. I mean, she was 43, but that's still really young. She wasn't a child, but still. So that's really cool. Um, the third charitable cause is, let me see, where's my damn spoon candle? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too funny. These names are just absolutely cracking me up. Oh, see, now I can look up when I'm when I have my screen up. That's my problem, but but I can't have my screen up when I'm reading. Okay, so where's my damn spoon? When you live with a chronic illness and count your spoons regularly, um, I think that's hinting towards the OCD <laughs> issue that I have a little bit of. Um, but chronic illnesses and illnesses that a lot of people don't um see you know if you don't if you haven't lost a leg or you know you're you're not it's not a an illness that people can see people just kind of tend to not get it i have quite a few of them um but sometimes you'd like just one thing to be easy simple and not cumbersome and amen that is like the story of my life this set is a beautiful reminder of life joy and the fact that you still have spoons to count Almond pastry, frankincense, mandarin orange, myrrh, and the deepest black plum. Now that just sounds amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. Um, $10 from each sale from this candle will be donate, donated to the Nat National Multiple Sclerosis Society. And again, you can comment um, if you want someone's name put in there. Um, now, I... I shouldn't say I don't know. I do know one person who has MS. Um, they're doing fairly well with it. Um, so thank the Lord um, or whoever you, you know, uh, would like to thank up there or wherever. <laughs> but um, that's really cool. So like I said, t I mean, she's not really making any money on these candles. She's just, these are donation candles. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, there's a clearance section and she doesn't have anything in here and I think that's because right now, but I think that's just because everything's marked down. <laughs> um, there's one called Dark Room and a category called Dark Room and it is names, the names are like, um, it's EXP number eight. I'm, ex I'm thinking that's Experiment, not too sure. Uh, meditation, mummy, and like mummy, like the mummy from the horror movies, knows best. Um, and temptation. Um, then there's delicious depravities. And, oh, this is cool. This is cool too. Something she told me. She does a, um, there's a link. If you go to delicious depravities, there's nothing listed under it. But it says, so you know what? We can collaborate with our favorite people too, especially Brooke at Villain Villainess. Now, now, Brooke does a lot of bath and body um, stuff. So I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Brooke. Um, and I will post her link below too because I'm sure that Becky won't mind. Um, she does a lot, a lot of bath and body. Um, and I'm not really into bath and body. Um, I order from a specific vendor and that's the only person that I order from. Um, but I am definitely going to give Villainess a try. Um, Brooke at Villainess. Because they kind of have the same theme almost going on. Like they do a lot of collaborations and stuff like that. So re that's really cool. So the um, Delicious Depravities would be, you know, if she collaborates with Brooke on something, then it would be under there. Um, then she has Every Day, which would be your normal Every Day. Well, not necessarily your normal every day, but um, scents, but maybe more towards your, you know, everyday scents. Like, you know, you're going to get your lose, daydreamer candle, lose yourself in the clouds, and zone out to the scent of citrus musk, sandalwood, um, cassis, and lemongrass. Um, so those are going to be more of your sense that you see, you know, all the time. There's um, self-indulgences. She does some bath salts. 
which is really cool. I Like I said, I don't really do baths or anything like that, so I don't really, like I said, I'm not really into that, but for those of you that are, um, there's a category called Sunday Best with um, scents like Bittersweet, Let Them Eat Cake, Shamar Moore, Sunny Beaches, um, then she also has the unmentionable drawer, which is, oh, these are scent beads. This is really cool. And they're only $1.50 right now, guys. These are the little beads, um, you know, like I'm assuming in the little sachet. She doesn't have pictures right now, but that you can put in your, like, unmentionable drawer. That's what it would be to kind of, um, you know, smell every, make th makes everything nice and smelly. Um, so it looks really cool that she has those. Um, yep, they're in black organza bags. Um, it usually lasts between one and four months, depending on exposure to heat and light. can be used anywhere from desk drawers to cars to shoes or in your underwear drawer if you want, whatever. Um, she has w one that's called Devil. And this is described as a deep, dark scent filled with patchouli and cinnamon with hints of leather and vanilla. Perfect for bringing out your inner naughtiness. Like, that's really cool. She has gift certificates, guys, which I love because a lot of times you want to give a gift, somebody a gift, or you want to give them wax, but you don't really know what their, like, scent preferences is. Scent preferences are. So I always love when people have gift certificates on their website. And she, ha she has from 5 10 25 50 all the way up to $100 um, in gift certificates. So that's super cool. Um, let me see if there's anything under specials. Yeah, some of these are 33% off. I'm ordering some of these. Like Freak Flag was one of my favorite. So it only comes to 201 for a clamshell, guys. I'm, I'm ordering it. Um, you guys need to get on this website. I'm telling you right now. You really do. Um, let me see. And then, then she has some new scents, it looks like. It was added, date added, Thursday, June 20th. So, yeah, she has some new scents. She said she's always trying new scents. Um, you know, she's always looking for new scents, new blends, that kind of stuff, everything like that. So anyway, you have to try try it out. Absolutely. You got to check out this site. It's amazing. I love it. It's right up my alley. Again, I'm going to show you right here, twotimingtarts.com. Got to try it out. Like I said, I'll post all the information below. Now, 30 minutes later, we are going into the scents that I received. Um... Okay, so I received, I'm going to have to type in, guys, because it's super easy to, so I'm going to start off with Freak Flag, because that was one of my favorites um, when I got it, and I just, I have to read this to you. This one was 33% off, so I'm so buying more of this. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so it says Freak Frag, Freak Frag. Why does that always happen to me? It always happens to me, you guys. I don't know why I trip over my tongue all the time, but I do. I don't know. Um, okay, so Freak Flag is... Um, okay, everyone has that little... That one little thing that makes them just a bit weird, eccentric, or freaky. Some of us have more than one of those things. But... Oh, and then she writes in parentheses... Okay, maybe a lot freaky. So there we go. So don't fight your inner freak. Embrace it and fly your freak f freak flag proudly. My freak flag encompasses a sensible base of sandalwood and berries dipped in dark chocolate then drenched in, drenched in champagne. Live long and proper, my freaky bitches. Now, anybody who's going to use the word bitches in their fragrance description, <laughs> it's like... Thumbs up in my book. Like, yeah, Becky. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, and I have to tease her because, okay, can you see what my shirt says, by Becky? Let's see. No talking when the Vampire Diaries is on. 
And that's just a joke between the two of us because um, I told her she has to get a vampire, she has to do a Vampire Diaries line of sense. And for every character in the Vampire Diaries, I will describe the scent. Like, I will tell you what they smell like. So then she can create the scent because I could so do that, like, in a heartbeat. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have a little collaboration going. I don't know. Maybe I'll have my own two timing tart line that I created or helped create. I didn't create it. She creates it. But then it helped. Had some input in. I don't know. She's, she's just, she, you know, she probably just laughed me off and was like, yeah, whatever. Because she's got so many things up her sleeve that she's, you know, constantly thinking and of new sense and everything like that. But so Freak Flag, again, is, um, like I said, I read this sandalwood, berries dipped in dark chocolate and then drenched in champagne. And I was like, oh my God, like amazing. Now, oh my God, it smells so good. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite. And like I said, I got to, I'll order more tonight. I have to order more. Um, my boyfriend was over earlier sniffing them all too. Um, I get the berries, I get the sandalwood, and I can, I can catch the, um, like champagne doesn't really have much of a scent. If it does, it's like a little kind of, it's a little fruity, but, um, but you get that effervescence and I can definitely catch that. I don't catch the dark chocolate and I'm a huge dark chocolate fan, but maybe when I melt this, I'm sorry. I've been so stuffy with this air conditioner on, like, running 24-7. Um, so I'm not really catching the chocolate notes in here. But I'm catching everything else, and this is just amazing. Like I said, one of my absolute favorites, Freak Flag. Um, it's on sale right now for 33%, so get it while you can, guys. Um, the next one was... I believe she said one of her favorites but I will oops type it in see it's already coming up in the search because I was doing my databases earlier um this is ab this one's called oh I didn't show you the free flag oh, I think I did I think I showed you this one because I was sorry I was testing I was doing my webcam thingy but um See, it's just a real simple label. She writes on it right there, freak flag. And then she's got the pour date. Um, so that's freak flag right there. Favorite. Love it. Um, haven't burned it yet. But hoping, like I said, hoping I get some of the chocolate hints in there. Um, the next one, I think she said was one of her favorites. This one's called Abby Normal. And again, the pour date, 5-2013. So I was good to go as far as... Um, melting these and I haven't melted them all yet but um so this it says this sentence description says abby normal when you're so abnormal that you're normal you might as well make Mel Brooks jokes black cherry spiked with chocolate and espresso beans you'll never want to be normal again I love these I mean these descriptions are just awesome now I am not a cherry fan at all. Unfortunately with me, yeah, and it's the same with this one. I like it. I will probably end up giving this to my daughter. My daughter's a cherry freak. Um, I like black cherry as opposed to maraschino cherry any day of the week. Um, but cherry is such a hard scent. If you're going to mix it with something, it's really, really, really hard because it is so overpowering. It's just super duper, duper, duper overpowering. So I'm not, I mean, I could smell cherries. Absolutely. Um, I'm not getting chocolate. Again, a little, like I said, disappointed. And I'm not getting espresso beans. Like I'm, not, I'm just not catching it. Hopefully when I melt it, oh, those will come out because I'm a huge chocolate person and I'm a huge coffee person. So right now all this is I'm smelling right I'm I'm getting right now is the cherry. I mean it does smell good. It really does. I just you know although I'm catching a little chocolate now. Sometimes when you just keep sniffing it you catch I mean at first you get that whiff like whoa cherry. 
but I'm not really getting the espresso beans. Anyway, I'll stop making that. My, no my nose is stuffed, so I know I'm making that obnoxious sniffing noise. Um, but if you guys like cherries, Abby Normal is awesome. Um, like I said, hopefully when I burn it, I'll get more of the chocolate espresso um, smell because that is amazing. And it's amazingly strong. This is amazingly strong. Um, let me see. The next one was, oh, this was my other favorite. I may have had three favorites. I don't have my database up, so I can't tell you. Oops, first let me uh, type it in. Um, and what's funny about this is I tried to get away with, when you see the name of this, it's called Sex Bomb. Okay? So I tried to get away with just typing sex in the search bar. Well, that didn't work. Because <laughs> there are quite a few that, are that have sex in the name. So that didn't really work. So I had, to, I had to type in the whole name. But anyway, Sex Bomb says, this, this scent description cracks me up. Love it, love it, love it. Ladies, you wish your man smelled like this and not cheap deodorant, soap, and sweat. Deep, sweet myrrh, masculine, spicy bay rum, and a surprising twist of pineapple all lead to a lingering disappointment at the Guitar Hero Marathon in the living room. At least, the least he could do is have moves like Jagger, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Even my boyfriend was laughing at this, but I love this one. Oh my god, this is, I don't catch any pineapple in this, but this is, yes, I would love my boyfriend to smell like this, oh my god, I would just, I won't tell you what I would do, but, um, <laughs> oh my god, I would love him to smell like this, I mean, I could smell the frankincense, I like, I mean, I'm myrrh and the, um, it's very masculine scent, spicy, oh my god, it's just so awesome, I love frankincense and myrrh so I love the smell of both of those this is just amazing amazing and manly and yes I do want my boyfriend to smell like this so I don't know I may tell Becky she'll have maybe she has to make a, a spray of some sort or whatever so I can spray my boyfriend with this otherwise I'm, I'll have to melt this wax and like <laughs> pour it all over him but that is for another day although no it is for this video because this site is is quite amazing in that sense. A little on the risque side. But Sex Bomb, oh my god. I'm getting more of this too. Absolutely amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, okay, this one was very interesting. This one is called May West Diamonds. And for people who don't know, May West was, I believe, in the Oh, I don't know. This is this is hard. I want to I want to say um she was a film actress. Oh, excuse me. Um she was a Hollywood sex symbol and um screen actress in the 1930s and um, I don't know if anybody has ever seen any Mae West movies. I've never seen them all the way through. I've never, but I obviously, I know who she is and she's just one hot ticket. Let me tell you, but this is Mae West diamonds and this is really nice. Um, it was funny because is it this one? No, it wasn't this one. I really like this. Um, at first, I thought I caught floral in here, um, but I wasn't too sure. But this is described as, this is really funny because I thought it was floral when I smelled it. Like it was kind of, it was musky and like, I thought that it was like a musk and a floral, but this is what it says. Mae West Diamonds. Mae West was famed for her on and off screen sexuality, best showcased by her stereotypical rags to riches, diamond dripping characters. 
This is a sleek, sensually sparkling scent with surprisingly simple ingredients, musk and caraway. Now, I had to look up what caraway was because I didn't know what it was, and it's it's fennel. You know, like the um, the the seeds that you ha you find in rye bread, fennel seeds. That's that's what it is. It's a um, oh my god, and it smells amazing. Like who would think to put that in a tart? You know, in wax, like you know, a sp I mean, yes, people put spices and stuff, but I've never heard caraway or fennel in a in a, in a tart, and it is good. It is really, really good. It's amazingly good, actually. Do I have? Oh, oh I look like I have. I think this is a shadow from my glasses, but I, I had a bruise. But this is an awesome, awesome scent. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, not something I think if I read the scent description that I would pick for myself, but I'm so happy that Becky picked it for me because I love it. Next is 42. That is the name, guys, of the scent. It is called 42. And I shouldn't be covering up her logo. There it goes. Two tiny tarts. Should not be covering that up, but the scent is called 42, which is really interesting. So when I put it in the box and I do a search, <clears throat> okay. Now this one confused me a little bit, um, but as soon as I smelled this, there was a there was a note in here that I said, "Oh my God, I." I can't put my finger on it, but I love it. Like, I know this note, but I just could not put my finger on it. Um, but this is 42. While the answer to life, the universe, and everything is generally acknowledged to be 42. I had never heard that before. But anyway, there's nothing better than sitting back in a field and watching the clouds go by. Grass, lilacs, and sunflowers. Now... Sunflower was the note, guys. Sunflower was the note. I am a sunflower addict. I have three sunflower tattoos. I have my sunflower... Oh, well, you can see it. Let me see if I can... Oh, I gotta move the camera. There you go. See? Got my sunflowers back there. Um... Love, love, love sunflowers. I'm not a big floral person. If someone's going to give me flowers, give me sunflowers. Love them. Um, I have sunflower decorations in my garden, which it's not a flower garden. I don't do flies. I don't do living flowers, but they're like light up sunflowers and stuff like that. Sunflower statues. Love it. So when I open this up, like I said, I was going, oh my God, like I know this. No, but I just could not put my finger on it. And it's sunflowers. So I don't really get any lilac out of here. I get sunflower and grass. So that nice green that everybody knows I love, that green note. Oh, my God. Love it. And sunflowers. Oh, my God. I'm probably ordering all these again. So this is this is another one of my faves. Because when I first smelled it, I was like, eh, I don't know. But then I, I went back and I'm like, I know that. I What is that smell? I know it. I know it. And it just happens to be one of my all-time favorite smells, which is sunflowers. Oh, love it. Amazing. It's called 42. Absolutely amazing. Now, this last one, I'm still iffy about. Um, I have two cubes right now um, in my warmer. And... I'm kind of getting the same, the same feeling about it warm as I do cold. Um, I'm going to, um, I have it in my 42 watts. So I had told, I have to order more of this anyway because my boyfriend absolutely loves this one. This is called Hedonistic Self-Indulgence. Now, I opened it up. Oh, see? I can... S okay, wait a minute. 
Okay, I, I, when I first opened it up, I smelled bakery. And I was like, mm, no, 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 no. Like, especially from two-timing tart. Like, I don't want bakery. I just don't. There's so many bakery scents out there. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, I'm not a huge bakery person either. Unless it's mixed with something weird. Um, there's very few bakery that I really like. But I had told her, like I said, what I loved. And this hedonistic self-indulgence says, who doesn't like a good chocolate? It can only get better with a gooey, spicy caramel center. Indulge your need for the good stuff without all the calories. Your thighs will thank you. Now, my thighs will thank me. But I think what threw me off is the spicy you know, the, the spicy caramel center. Like, if it, this was just chocolate and caramel, I'd be all over it. The spicy adds, like, a bakery note to it that I'm not loving. I mean, like I said, I can smell the chocolate, and I can smell the... I don't know if I can smell the caramel. I can smell the chocolate. Now, I can smell the chocolate and I can smell the caramel, but the problem is, like I said, that that spicy, the spicy is making it smell bakery to me. If it was strictly chocolate caramel, I would be all over this. Um, like I said, I have to order more of this anyway because I told him I would melt some to see if the scent changed for me. Right now, it's not really, although I haven't really had it burning long, so... Um, do I have something in my hair? Yeah, of course I do. I always have something in my hair. My hair so I gotta get a haircut. Um, I know I say that every video, but I really do. It's so long. Um, so hedonistic, like I said, hedonistic self-indulgence. If you like bakery, but not like super duper duper bakery, this is a good one for you guys. Hedonist, hedonistic self-indulgence. There we go. She writes so big, it's kind of hard to get it in on my screen. So, um, like I said, ch chocolate and caramel, I was like, oh, yeah. But she adds that spicy note, I think, to make it not so sweet. And I would have preferred it without the spicy note. But it's a really, really, it, and like I said, it's still a really good scent. Like, if I'm going to do a bakery, I'm going to do one of these because it's really good. Um, and that is what she sent me guys and I love I cannot rave any more about this about this vendor I can't Becky two-timing tart can't rave any more about it because oh my god um okay the downsides downsides um there's only one there's only one downside the only one downside is that she just makes clamshells and the 8 ounce candles. And I don't scoop. I mean I don't burn. But. Maybe. If she could find those jumbo. Clamshells. I mean I'm going to order anyway. Just because. There's just way too many scents that I want to try. But. Um, these little thingy. Majiggies don't usually do it for me. I don't know. I Like I said. I either need too many of the cubes. Um. But I'm going to try these. I have so many different warmers. I have a 24 watt. I have an 18 watt. I now have a... It was a 25 bulb. And I switched it to a 40 bulb. Um, I know people are probably going to go nuts on me. But my boyfriend is a master electrician. And I asked him. And he said, it's only you know 15 more watts. It's not that big of a deal. You're not going to burn your house down. The most that will happen is the light bulb will blow. Not blow, like explode, but you know what I mean? Like, just go on you. So, go for it. So, everybody is going to go, oh, no. Please don't bother me with that nonsense. Because I talked to, like I said, the master who works on voltage like you would not believe. He does big commercial um, electricity as far as... Um, like hospitals and power plants and everything like that. So he's worked with voltage that you guys could only imagine. So 
15 watts is not going to kill me. So anyway, I have <laughs> a bulb, a 40 watt bulb warmer. Um, I have another warmer coming, coming, which is a bulb warmer. I'm not usually a bulb warmer person. I'm still up to debate about it. Um, and I have a 14 watt LED, which I love. You would think 14 watt, like really? I have had some crazy throw in my 14 watt LED, like amazing. Like, oh my God, throw in this. Love it. So, um, the only down to this that I was any, like I said, if I have anything down to say is that, you know, I want bigger, bigger, more, bigger, bigger, more, more Becky, more and bigger. <laughs> like people, if you, I, Becky, I don't think has had a chance to, she said when she starts pouring, and stuff like that. She's gonna watch some of my videos, but I don't think bigger Becky, bigger. It's, I I go bigger, go home. So, like I said, these I don't know. Um, not usually my thing, but not to say if I don't love the scent, which so far I've loved them all. I will not. Doesn't mean I won't purchase because I am. I am making a purchase either tomorrow or the next day. Again, with trying some new, ordering all my faves. And trying some new um, scents. I am ordering. Okay, so the upside is the reusing, recycling, repurposing. She has her own recycling um, program. You know, she. You know, we can recycle all this stuff. This and the tins from the candles. I'm so down with it. I'm gonna send this stuff back to her. I don't quite know how it works yet, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Um. um the charitable causes candles. I'm ordering one of each of those, even if I scoop them out. I don't care. Whatever. I'm ordering them because ten dollars, ten dollars for an eleven twenty five, eleven dollars and twenty five cent candle goes to the charity. Amazing, amazing. Sorry, I you know gift certificates. Amazing. Um, like I said, no dyes. Everything's biodegradable. Um, everything's health. You know, healthy. Amazing. Um, the, the scent descriptions and the scents, amazing. This is stuff you're not going to find on, you know, Yankee Candle or any of those other places or even, you know, a lot of the vendors that I've already, you know, done reviews for. I'm sorry, my foot was falling asleep. That I've done review, reviews for. You're not, you're just not going to find them. Um, absolutely one of a kind candle company right here. An awesome, 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 awesome girl. Becky Anderson at two timing tarts.com. Check it out, guys. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Gotta check it. Have to check it. Have to buy. Have to purchase. Not only, I'm, I'm not even just telling you that you have to check it. You have to buy. That's an order from Chris. I'm telling you, you have to buy. You just have to. Because it's, you will be, when do you start going through the list of the scent descriptions and everything like that, you're just gonna be like, oh, check, gotta have that. Check, gotta have that one. Check, gotta have that one. You guys are just going to be taking your little notes and going, check, 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 check. Like, I just got to have all those. Um, so, like I said, there was only one downside for me. <laughs> that was it. And it was just the clamshell. That was it. You know, because I need bigger. But other than that, so, but at the prices she has now, I guess I don't need bigger. I just need more. But I have now started a drawer um, in my stash. Um, for two-timing tarts, so two-timing tarts now has its own drawer, and I love you, Becky. I love your site. It's amazing. Two thumbs up. Again, here we go. I thought this was going to be a nice little video, because I had, what, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six clamshells to do, and no, we're almost at an hour. Sorry, guys. It's Chris. Can't help you. Can't help it. It's Chris's movie channel, okay? It's not my, it's not Chris's YouTube channel. It's Chris's movie channel. So, like I tell everybody, get your popcorn, you know, um, listen to me in the car on your, you know, iPads, um, watch me in the doctor's offices while you're waiting for your, you know, to be called, um, at the grocery store, if you're standing in line at the deli, check me out, but, you know, get your popcorn, get your coffee, get your beer, get your blankie, snuggle up, and spend time with Chris. Spend the evening with me or day or whatever. I know a lot of people listen to me in the car. That's pretty funny. I when I heard that, I was like, really? I'm like, yeah, on my way to work. Like, you know, like I got my iPad and I just sit there and, you know, 
and I watch you. So I'm like, that's super cool. You know, like it takes me about an hour to get to work and your videos are just perfect to, I think, I think it was Cody who's in my Candles Anonymous group. Um, of course, I will post that below too. So when Becky sees this, if she wants to join our Candles Anonymous group, we would all love to have you. Oh my God. We would be so honored to have you in our Candles Anonymous group. Um, but yeah, they said, I think it was Cody um, who had mentioned my friend, my my darling Cody had said that she listens to me on perfect timing on the way to work. Like it takes just enough time for her to watch my video or listen to my video from when she starts to when she finishes or when she leaves the house to when she gets to work. So that's super cool. I love it. Anyway, again, I love you guys. You're awesome. Two timing tarts, like I said. Buy gift certificates for your friends. Buy charitable causes candles. Buy all their stuff. All their stuff. Sugar scrubs or, or salt, bath salts or whatever. Sachets. Um, you know, clamshells. Like, oh, just buy. Buy, 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 buy. It's just amazing. Okay, and with that, I'm going to say bye, 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 bye. Because this video has been way too long. But I love you. And like I said, this is just um, very passionate about this very passionate about this um, site. It's just this vendor. It's just, she amazes me. Love it. Love the site. Love the vendor. Awesome. Two thumbs up. So you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. Mwah. Love you guys.